Hi guys, Lucy here from Hunting for George and welcome to a brand new Let Us In Home Tour. Now this is a time when you and I get to legally break into someone else's home and have a good old fashioned sticky beak. You're welcome. <laughs> and today I have got a sensational home for you. It is a period Edwardian that not only has been given a cosmetic facelift, but it's also just had a two story contemporary and luxurious addition. Do you wanna take a look? Let's go. So this home was originally built in 1912. It is an Edwardian period home and the front half, that layout is the same. So I'm gonna take you into this first room. So this is both office, living space, and it could also double as another bedroom as well because it is the privacy of that door. Obviously, original features are beautiful, the fireplace, the cornices, and this amazing bay window as well, which is just a very comfy cushion in here, I must admit. Okay, we've got master suite. Very generous proportions in this home. Again, it's got that lovely aspect looking out onto that front garden with that beautiful magnolia coming through. But oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't help but look at that walk-in robe. That is insane. Let's take a closer look. Holy mother of rose. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so jealous. There is so much storage in here. They haven't even filled it yet. This is insane. And oh my, oh my God, you've got to come through and look at this. <laughs> oh, hello. Welcome to the master ensuite. This is insanely generous. This is bigger than my ensuite and main bathroom at home. The gray marble in here is absolutely stunning. It has a really soft tone to it. There's a lot of gray, there's a lot of white, there's a lot of light. And these plantation shutters are beautiful again because it looks out onto this lovely green aspect. There's a beautiful veggie garden out there. I love that. It creates just such a lovely kind of, I don't know, sense of life in this space. Plus, oh my goodness, look at the size of the shower. I love that. Oh, there's so much beautiful light coming through with that skyline. It really picks up on the natural tone of the tile. Very cool. So this actually isn't original. They have actually pushed out from the original build, which is a really great use of space. They're really maximized to the boundary. Okay through here. We have the formal sitting area. I just, I love the decor in this home. It's such an incredible combination of pieces. And look, at, look at that lamp. I mean, that is just spectacular. It's got this amazing sort of ornate tropical nature to it, which works really well with some of the other pieces because we've got parrots over here. We've got a bit of leopard print. But then we've got this kind of classical old school vibe. It just kind of seems to work. The dual shelving either side of the fireplace works really well because we've got a lot of space in which to put a few of their trinkets on display. Again with the gray marble, that's quite consistent throughout so far. Ah, okay, so we've got another bedroom. So this is a guest bedroom. Again, very generous proportions, original fireplace, a lot of inbuilt storage, which is great. It's got this door which leads you 
into a bathroom, a nice little cheeky ensuite. Very similar color palette to what was going on in that ensuite. A lot of this beautiful marble. There's just lovely stone natural tiling in here. It's very seamless. It's very fresh. And I like the fact that they've just got this nice sloped detail with the shower. It leads you into this vertical grate, that recessed shelf. It just works really well. It feels very practical in here. Now, this actually leads you back out to the hallway. So this is actually the main bathroom of the ground floor, but oh my goodness. I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I can't even sort of, I don't even know where to look. There is so much to see. I'm sort of, you walk through here and you are just drenched in light. These incredible French doors leading your eye out to the pool. But then you look over here into the living space and into the kitchen. I don't know where to begin. I'm going to go this way and then I'm going to work my way around. So this is our living space. I love the shelving. There's a lot of beautiful styling in this home. The rattan, that's a nice touch because it adds a lovely sense of warmth. But the great thing about this is, oh, I love that detail. I really like the fact that they've decided to hide away their TV. So it's not the focal point. You're very much drawn towards the artwork and the fireplace as your focal point. But you know, it's a family home. You're gonna need a big TV, let's be honest, but it's nice to be able to hide it away. I love the windows, the dual windows on either side of this fireplace. They create just such a nice ambience. And the concrete, I love seating on either side of a fireplace because a fireplace, it's that kind of, it has that gravitational pull to it. So you kind of just wanna sit around it and just gather. And then it just sort of extends your amount of seating in this space as well. And from here, there's a beautiful aspect looking straight back into that kitchen. Oh, oh, that, oh, that didn't even notice. I was wondering why it was so light there. And beautiful light wells just bringing so much light into this space. Ah. Oh. It's a cricket ball. <laughs> it's definitely a family home. This couch is insanely comfortable. Tell you what, even the dog bed is nicely styled. That's very impressive. This is a gorgeous dining table. I love this, the fact that it's this antique piece and it's merged with these wonderful modern pieces and it just kind of works really well. So this is a nice, clever use of space. To be honest, in a family home, a little study nook like this is really good on this main area because you sort of, you wanna be part of what the family is doing, but if you need to jump on and pay some bills, it's good to be able to have the space to do that. But the showstopper, the kitchen, this is so light, so bright, and this is a huge island bench. This agar. <laughs> This is beautiful. This is like the oven to end all ovens, guys. It's got the most beautiful, deep, rich, navy tone to it. And again, with those light wells, so that actually mimics what's happening at the other side of this space as well. So that's bringing a lot of natural light into here. And oh, also through here. So this is a great use of space. It's a nice little nook, you know, it's their pantry in here. They've got their food. They've got plenty of storage to sort of hide away more food. Cookbooks, appliances can go in here. It's just kind of very clever, very practical. This is actually a really clever detail. They've put a recessed sort of shelving space for their um, knife block. And they've even put that marble detail in there as well. There's lots of lovely points of detail in this kitchen and so much storage. But, oh my God. Guys, 
Seriously? This is a wine fridge. Look at the size of this thing. Very nice. Not just one though. Oh no, this is just for the red. We've got a chilled one for our whites and we've got, you know, another one for our beer and our champagne. Can I just say, I love these people. I need to be friends with these people. <laughs> so here we've got, I guess, another extension of the kitchen, really. We've got another dishwasher. So that's two dishwashers, double sink, huge bench space and prep area, which is great. But the best thing about this It leads out to your pool area. So now, well, this is just officially your cocktail bar. What was that? You'd like an Aperol spritz? Coming right up. <laughs> and also they've got their barbecue here. So I love the fact that you can prep your meat in here, maybe your vegetables, your skewers, you pop them out here, get ready to cook them. And once they're ready, you can pop them in here and just get them ready to serve to all your guests. Very practical, very excited by this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too excited. Through here, laundry. So again, with the practicality, but tell you what, they make practical very sexy in this home. This is a lovely, soft, bluey gray. It's also got a nice rattan feature, which we saw um, in the living area as well. I like that because it brings a nice warmth to it, especially because it's quite a cool color palette in here. So huge space. So obviously our laundry area, you've got space for drying, but not only that, there's a door out here. So this actually is additional space for more of your drying. And also it's got access to their laneway. So their bins are out there. So I like the fact that you can actually hide away all of your ugly things. Okay, let's open this up and go outside, shall we? There's another bar fridge. Let's make that four bar fridges in this home. <laughs> These guys like a good party or two. can actually see the full extent of this addition. So it is two story. It's got this really lovely um, vertical cladding, uh, which sort of links through to that weatherboard period nature of the home. It's just, I mean, huge pool, spa, plus there's an outdoor shower. This home would be brilliant in summer. They've got a very sweet shed out the back here. So that's great for all your extra stuff. Probably the coolest thing of this house, check out this fireplace. That is so incredibly smart. I love the fact that this is a double fireplace. So not only indoor, but outdoor as well. The chairs are set up, it's ready to go. You've got spot for your firewood. It's just, oh, I just love the fact that they've maximized every single space of this land. It's fantastic. So going back inside. For a family home, I love this space. This is like the messy entry where you can chuck your muddy footy boots. You know, you've got space for all your bags, for your hats, and all of this lovely storage. And this has got a lovely powdered blue here. Oh, I just love it. They've got all their school bags hanging up, ready to go. This has just got a really lovely feeling to it. There's so much energy in this room. Oh, <sighs> rugby balls at the ready. Again, with the incredible storage, it's probably time that we took a look upstairs. So this is 
purely kids territory up here. So they actually have all of their bedrooms up here, which all are centralized around this kids living space. So this is cool that they get their own area to hang out in. So this is one of the bedrooms. A really great size bedroom. A very practical area for studying. I love that. There is a lot of space here, so multiple people can work in this section. There is a great amount of storage. Lots of books, lots of games, lots of towels. There's storage everywhere actually in this home, which you know what, a busy family home, you kind of need it. Bedroom number two. I like the fact that all of these bedrooms actually look out onto the pool down below. And the third bedroom up here. How cool is this fire station? <laughs> the bedroom's nice too, but seriously, I need to take a look at this. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I can do like a little mini lettuce in home tour. You know, I need to fix this. This orientation is not right at all. I'm getting a little bit distracted. <laughs> I think it's time to uh, continue with the actual real home tour, but that is seriously cool. So we've got another very big bathroom. The boys are very lucky to have their own bathroom up here. Again, very consistent with the color palette, the gray marble, the white, the natural tiles. And this has got a lovely detail, which you can see onto the original building with that chimney. It's very light and bright up here. These boys are very lucky. Again with the storage, I love the fact, gosh, look at those neat tubs. I love it. There's lots of toys here. And then, ah, a laundry chute. How good is that? I think that is so smart. I can only imagine that being the mum of three boys, you're probably going to have a fair bit of dirty laundry to do. Let's go see where that actually pops out. So where does the laundry go to? There? No. Oh, there! That's a really nice touch. <laughs> I like that. Okay, guys. It's time to get a drink and how about we then take a closer look at this house. Okay, so this home is 100% tradition at the front, party at the back. I was actually speaking to the owners about this build and this was actually the first renovation that they have ever done. They were on the lookout for a period home, but more importantly, they needed a period home with space because they have a very young and energetic family of five. So they needed to make sure that they had enough space that they could maximize. And when it comes to maximizing the block, to give you an indication of what they were dealing with before, where the pool is now and that outdoor entertaining area, that actually used to be a carport and garage. So that had that side access to that laneway. Uh, so instead of that, they actually managed to get through council removing that access to the laneway, but instead putting their carport at the front. So it's off street car parking at the front now with a double carport. And that means that they were able to close that in to create that amazing pool and outdoor area. And what I love about this house is that they really have maximized every square inch of land. 
There's that pool and outdoor area. There's that garage shed space for all of their tools and extra equipment. There is a beautiful garden, and I'm talking beautiful garden. There is a wonderful stretch of lawn, which is practically screaming for a game of cricket. There's a basketball hoop. There's a putting green in the front garden. I mean, there is so much space in which their family can just play and exercise and just interact. Speaking of interacting, I mean, that outdoor outdoor fire is just sensational. I love the fact that they've doubled that fireplace. You can have the flexibility of being indoor or outdoors. They've really doubled down on the living spaces, not just inside, but outside as well. The owners worked really closely with their builder, Fortum Projects, as well as a designer, Sketch Building Design. They did a lot of planning. They didn't actually move into this home until it was finished, so they had to plan. One of the things that they actually changed was this dual window aspect. So on either side of the fireplace, places. They were actually going to have on one side shelving and it was all going to be closed in. However, when they were building, they decided that that would actually probably close it in a little bit too much. So they did decide to put two windows in there. And can I just say, I think that that was the right move because it's so beautifully symmetrical. It'll let so much lovely light in. Plus, they just center your attention to that beautiful artwork above the fireplace as well, which is very bold. And I love the introduction of red, especially above the fireplace. It brings such a lovely energy to this home. Speaking of artwork, the artwork in this home is beautifully original and unique. There are so many wonderful pieces, so many different artists. And in fact, the owner actually worked in an art auction house. So she's been very lucky to be surrounded by beautiful art. And it's lovely to see that in this home. I really love how this home has been styled. There are so many different pieces. There's modernist pieces mixed with classical kind of old school. There's a bit of a cottage farmhouse vibe mixed with a bit of an eccentric kind of tropical kitsch, which is fantastic. Like every piece has just been so perfectly positioned, not overthought, but it's been done with such confidence. And I just love the combinations of styles. It just happens to work incredibly well. It's not overdone, you know, it's not bursting at the seams. But at the same time, there's just so much energy in this home. There's so much color and personality. It's very clear that it is a well-loved, a well-lived-in home that is a very practical space for a young family. The steel-framed French doors in this living and kitchen area are 100% just drop-dead gorgeous. There is just something so beautiful and magnetic about these French doors. They just frame the outside so incredibly well. You've essentially just got all these multiple picture frames in which to look through and I love that classic European feel that it brings to this space and also it obviously brings a lot of light in. I'm sitting here now there is light streaming through the windows and it's such a kind of cloudy overcast day. Not only the natural light from those French doors but there are very well positioned skylights and light wells all throughout this home through the hallways and the bathrooms on both sides one in the living and then one in the kitchen area as well. That's a lovely one in the kitchen space because it really does sort of bring your eye and attention to that marble as well as that agar. Oh my gosh, that oven is just spectacular. It is the most beautiful tone and it's got a, it's got a lovely farmhouse nature to it and it brings a, a sense of kind of warmth and nostalgia to the space, which I love. But for me, the winner of the kitchen was all the additional spaces that the kitchen had. Not only do you have that butler's pantry that runs off the main kitchen area, but you also have that additional kind of butler's pantry come cocktail bar, come prep service area. I mean, it is just insane how good that space is and that you can open that out to the outside. I can only imagine what it would be like to have an epic barbecue out here in summer. In fact, this house, this would totally be the party pad. I mean, if these were your friends, you'd be like, what are you doing this weekend? What are you doing? <laughs> can I come around to your place? Because <laughs> this is where you want to hang out on a nice sunny day. I mentioned quite a bit during the walkthrough about the practicality of this home. And that was probably one of the biggest things that the owners wanted. They wanted it to be practical and they wanted it to be a space that was easy to manage with their family. And I love the fact that, you know, things like the laundry is connected to the outside um, space that leads onto the laneway. There's a space for their bins. 
upstairs, there's a laundry chute, you know, so the kids can chuck down their dirty footy gear and then it all gets collected on the ground floor. The additional butler's pantries, the window for that bar, you know, the hidden storage for the TV. There are so many wonderful details that are not only practical, but sexy. So I mentioned that the front part of the home was original, but when they actually purchased this home, it was a deceased estate and it was not in very good condition at all. They did need to restump their floors. They needed to replaster walls. So they had to do a lot of work to make sure that front space actually was brought to life. The only major change that they made to the layout in that front area was built out to the boundary to include that master ensuite. And oh my God, that master suite. Can I just say guys, that is heaven. It was so big in there, so incredibly generous. And not only the ensuite, but that huge walk-in robe that had floor to ceiling storage that wasn't even filled yet, mind you. There's plenty of room to grow in there. <laughs> and I like the fact that that looked out onto the front part of the home Beautiful magnolia trees are growing up there. Speaking of the garden as well, there was amazing vegetable gardens out in front of the bathroom. So I love the fact that that will grow up. And again, it's all about the owners maximizing every square inch of their land. As for the other period features of this home that got an upgrade, the roof, those new slate tiles are so fresh, so new, but linked back to that heritage. These are serious roof goals on this house, can I just say. Not only that, but the veranda was actually updated as well with those old English tiles to really hark back to that heritage. But again, it's just so fresh and new. It gives it a lovely contemporary feel. Whilst there is quite a clear delineation between the old and the new, you know, the front and the back of this home, it is a very seamless integration. You know, you don't feel like you've just walked through one house and then you've entered another. And I think that's due to the beautiful consistency that they've maintained throughout this home in terms of their color and their material palette. They've kept it very minimal. And I think that's been quite a clever decision because they've got a lot of layers to this home and the color and the energy and the texture comes from their decor, their artwork, their furniture pieces, and just their own personality. So I love the fact that they've, so they've kept the base of this home quite calm, and then they've really come on in and put their own individual stamp on it. So this home ticks a lot of boxes for me. I've got to admit, it's giving me all of the feels. I just love how fun it is. It is filled with personality, and it just, it just feels a lot. Thanks for watching guys. I'd love to know what you thought of this home. Leave me a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give us a like and subscribe to our channel because we've got plenty more home tours coming your way. Cheers.